So it's time to get started now. It's time to build the real application. Now you guys have some kind of knowledge to get started. You know how the full stack works. You know how to make an endpoint. That's the first step now. Before we go there, I just want to show you this is actually the course planner that I'm kind of planning we will build. It'll be a bit different because I'm using a specific library here called Material, Angular Material. We're going to use Bootstrap, so it won't have the same look and feel as the one I'm having here, but it's actually right now added on live on this URL using something called OpenShift. And we'll get into OpenShift in one of the following lessons. So you can also have your application on live to show it to your friends or whatever you want to use it for. But this is actually live now and you can you can click around, you can, uh, yeah, there are some, some different functions here. You can uh, go in and check your videos, do stuff like that. And um, that's pretty much the course planner and again, We'll figure out how to put this on live actually later. Now, we've cleaned up our code, so we need to build a new endpoint. Now an endpoint, if I go into Angular's full stacks page and I scroll down, I'll find a place called generators. Under generators, there are all these different commands that we can use to build different types um, of endpoints, routes, controllers, different types of scaffolded code, okay? That's just code that's built for you. If I press this endpoint guy, he'll just scroll me down to this area called endpoint. And this is how you make a new endpoint. Pretty simple, right? And this is the URL it'll, it'll end up with. So I'm going to build that now. I'm going to make a new endpoint. I don't want to shut down my grunt. I just want that running. So I'll right click and create a new, J, uh, new uh, command prompt here. I'll just uh, find my beautiful web apps here. JS. I tap here to get into it. And then I think it's called course planner on that one. So now I'm in the right project. You need to be in your project before you make this command. Inside the project, I'll make a new endpoint here and I'll call it syllabus. Now syllabus is pretty much just a course document explaining everything to know about the course in my mind. And in there, there's also the week plans that we're going to perform one week at a time. That's just the way I will build it. So while I make this, let me just show what I'm actually building here. So it's going to ask me, what do you want the API to be called? And I'm going to say, I don't want it to be called syllabus with double S in the end. I could just press enter and select that. But if you want another name, you could put anything in here like uh, smoke. That would be really stupid since it's syllabus, but you could put anything in here. And I'll call it syllabuses just with an ES in the end. Press enter, it'll create the three files for me. Now, let's just have a look here. What is it actually that I'm trying to accomplish? Uh, let me log in here. So now that I've logged in, let's have a look at this. Now, a syllabus seems to have some kind of image, a title, some kind of information about what it's about, where it's uh, being held, um, the name of the lecturer, and uh, I can edit this guy as well if I want to, and here I can fill in some information about this lecture. Um, let's just go back. I can, uh, I can cancel this if I don't wanna see it. Let's go into an actual course. And here we have the week plans like I talked about, and we can add new week plans. Here, if we go into this guy, uh, we can see the specific topics, videos, literature, and assignments for this week. So all of this we're going to build a model for now in Mongo, not using an SQL database. Remember that we're using a Mongo database, meaning that we're going to use documents inside documents inside documents, um, what we call nested uh, documents, to make this, we're going to use an arrays. Let's just get to it. Let's just try and build this project actually. So now let's make this new API called syllabus. Under here, there's the model like you guys have seen a lot of times. This is very basic right now. So we want to change that. I'm going to paste in another model that's a bit more complex. And the model I want to paste in is this guy. So let's just paste it in and I'll run over it with you. now. We have the academy like I talked about. Let's just show it here. The academy is here in this, in this page. We have um, some other strings, a number, that's the year that we're going to teach this. Then we have an owner. Now that's a bit different than all the other ones. These are kind of what we call default types because this is actually a way for us to make a relation even though this is a non-relational database because we can make relations using mongoose. This means that I want to make a relation from this schema to the user schema. And if I open the user schema, he has his name 
down here in the bottom actually saying that he is the user schema. Oh, this is a big one. This is an all of a scaffolded guy, but the model down here is user. That's just the one I'm referring to in here. This means that I can talk between schemas and I can actually look up this guy if I need him later. We'll get back to that. Um, I have objectives. That was the one of the ones I showed you. We had an image and then we have the different weeks here as the last point. So this is a very basic model. In, in the week plans, let's talk a bit more here because that's also complex. In the week plans, we have an array. That means that I'm going to get a list of weeks. I will build this for you. I'll seed this for you and I'll use Postman and you'll see how to actually fill in these data. And I'll try to copy them down to the seed so you can see how we populate data using JSON. Okay, so let's end this for now and try to seed it and use Postman just to show you how to use this new model that we built. See you next time.